I was a child in the 80s and the 70s in Los Angeles. I grew up here in LA. I was a child in the 70s and the 80s. You have to understand, and in LA especially, the 70s and 80s was the golden age for active fucking serial killers, you guys. They were, like, they were on the fucking job, right? And our parents were just hanging keys around our neck and going, the fuck out of the house, you know what I mean? Remember that shit? It was a full-time job when we were kids. Eight-hour shift. My dad would kick me out at 9 a.m., couldn't come back till 5. Sometimes if he was drunk or high, I picked up a 12-hour shift. It was interesting times. And then they just said, here, if some shit happens, here's a quarter. Give us a call. Like, now I got to find a fucking phone because we didn't have it in our pockets back then. So then we're out in the world going, oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh, this guy wants to fuck me. <laughs> a lot of that back then, too. A lot of that. It was easier for them back then, because today they got them snitch websites to tell you where they live, you know? All the red flags. You're like, there they are. Stay out of that neighborhood. Mm. Back in when I was a kid, they were just rolling up on us in vans with no windows and shit, just pulling up like, hey, kid, you want to fuck? It was crazy. And then I remember thinking, if you want me to get in your van, be cooler. They always had long hair, but bald on top. The fucking wart, sunglasses with a lens missing. You want some Reese's Pieces? I'm like, I do, but not from you, you fucking freak. <laughs> Different time. Different time. We always had that one kid in the neighborhood that learned the hard way. Don't groan at the truth. It was Melvin in my neighborhood. We saw Melvin walking across the street one day. We're like, Mel, you okay? Because he was limping, you know. <laughs> Mel, you good, bud? He just goes, he does not have Reese's Pieces in that van. <laughs> you didn't like that one? You didn't like it, huh? You're young, that's why you didn't like it. Why are you talking about the real shit? It's a lot. Too much. Well, how, are you a, a Z? Is that what you're? No. What the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna tell you something. White people sometimes answer questions you did not ask them. I asked her if she was Gen Z. She goes, no, I'm a therapist. I'm like, what? Do you go to one, <laughs> you know? What I'm asking is your generation, your generation therapist is what you are? Okay, got it. And, and you? What, how old are you? How old are you? You're not in the middle of anything. You're Gen Z, you're fucking Gen Z. 